I know currently we have lots of newcomers in Qatar or if you are planning to come to Qatar you might as well save this video for the future it might be useful to you later in the future today I'm going to be discussing about what to put into consideration before transferring your visa sponsorship to a new company I know a lot of people they fallen victim to this that's why I decided to bring this to you all notice and yeah like this video and be part of this family keep on watching to the end because I'm going to be sharing a vital point at the end of this video hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel it's your girl Choma and you're welcome back if you just see this beautiful face for the first time it is good to have you all here I know I've been back and forth on this channel it has it has been work okay work has been working me out here in Qatar and due to the weather again I find it very hard for me to film these days but um just take it anytime I drop a video please feel free to engage and like my content okay keep on watching keep on supporting I see your support thank you all so much and I truly appreciate it today I'm going to be discussing a very important topic that I know a lot of people might be going through it at the moment and um, something happened that made me to want to like share this video with you all okay please take notes okay take out the points in this video in case you don't know let me explain the Qatar system because i've seen some people ask me questions that they want to come don't come to Qatar on their own they want to sponsor themselves anyways this is not possible in Qatar in Qatar is either you are sponsored by a family or you are under a company sponsorship it's either two ways and just that maybe if it's your husband that is sponsoring you over to Qatar. just know that your husband is also under a company sponsorship so it's either you are sponsored by family or you are sponsored by a company so today i'm going to be mainly focused on um company sponsorship in case you see me looking down i have my notes here i've written out the points because i don't want to miss out on any point because this is a very vital topic that i feel everybody needs to know especially the newcomers in Qatar. the first point i would like to hit on is before you transfer your sponsorship to a new company read your contract your contract is very very important i know a lot of people you are so happy you are so excited that you just want to you just got a job offer and the next thing you just want to you just want to sign the contract and transfer your sponsorship under them i won't advise you to do that to read the company read the contract read what you are what you are getting involved in check okay after maybe i'm not okay with this job or maybe later in the future i get a better offer at what point can i leave this company okay when i'm about to leave this company hope is not going to be an issue for me okay what is the notice i'm supposed to give to this company because the way you have your right that's the same way these companies they also have their right and let us try to be human in anything we are doing and there are some companies that will tell you after one year you can transfer your sponsorship you can get a new job and decide to transfer your sponsorship to another company why there are some companies that will tell you it is two years it is two years um, duration of the contract. After two years, then you can transfer. If you don't fulfill the two years term, you cannot transfer your comp your sponsorship to another company. So you have to read your contract very carefully. I remember when I came in here in 2018, um, most companies, they were doing five years contract. But I think that five years contract has stopped now. It's no longer five years. It's either one year or two years. But in any way, just read your contract. It is better for you and your company to have a mutual agreement when you are about to leave it or the company decides okay fine you can go and get a new sponsorship and leave our company that one is totally fine but when you are still working under them and you have a contract at hand going please i don't want you to fall a victim because a lot of people are falling victim into this and when they go to courts and they are at fault and the next thing they are sending them back to their 
country so please be very careful the next point is find a new employer before you think of transferring your sponsorship i know a lot of people some people they are very tired at their new job they are saying some people will even chat me up to i want to quit my new job i want to transfer to a new company and the rest and they've not gotten a new job they've not gotten a new job so why do you want to transfer your why do you want to move to another company or why do you want to go and submit letter of resignation when you have not gotten a job at hand so it's better for you to have a job at hand a job offer a, an offer letter and make sure the company you are planning to transfer your sponsorship on that the new job that you got make sure that there are not people that will call you tomorrow and tell you that okay we don't need your services again at the end of the day you'll be left hanging so you don't want to be in this situation why the next one is before you do a visa sponsorship transfer make sure you do a background check if you're about to transfer your visa to a new company check um if this company maybe when you need any document hope it's going to be accessible to you check the people that have been under this company before how are they finding it are they finding it difficult are their sponsors people that uh, any any little document you need they are collecting money from you so you have to ask questions do your background check because there are times maybe you might to travel to another country there are some documents you might need will your company be able to give you that that document are there people that will be delaying you especially maybe you have this mind to bring your family to come and join you check the company okay this company are they going to assist me to bring my family over is it going to be possible check all those things before you think of transferring your sponsorship don't just be carried away okay think about the future don't just think about today that okay if i'm transferring my visa sponsorship i have um i'm, I'm okay okay just for me to just transfer my visa sponsorship um, sponsorship just for me to just like get my stay here in Qatar. no you need to check some certain things like futuristic just be futuristic okay if i need some documents to transfer is it going to be possible for me to get the um, um the documents are they going to be delaying me and the rest so check with these things before you make a transfer to another company while the next one is make sure your company have a designated office i've seen some there are some companies here that especially these new companies that are just open to bring newcomers to Qatar. some of them some of um, you all don't know your your offices okay there, there's no way for you to locate your sponsor you only speak to your sponsor on the phone and maybe when you whenever you want to meet your sponsor they are always telling you to come to this place come to this location come to that location for you to come and get anything from them what okay think about what about maybe there's an important document you need to get one time and you cannot even locate the office of your sponsor so why are you in that company so before you move to any company at all or before you transfer your visa sponsorship i will not i will not advise anyone to transfer their visa sponsorship to a company that is mobile you know there's some people that their company is in their car they are always on the move so i will not i will not advise you to do that because maybe anything should happen this sponsor can easily run away and leave you stranded and i won't advise that what about maybe you want to renew your id how do you get your id from the sponsor so i will not advise you to do that please make sure any company you are transferring your visa sponsorship to know their history know the people that have been under them check that's why i do do a background check make sure they have an office make sure your company is not people that used to change their offices monthly you get make sure that, that they have a, a place for everybody to come to and get whatever document there is modup there modup there is called like the pro or secretary make sure that apart from the sponsor you have people that you can relate with that you can talk to whenever you need anything or any document or maybe you need your sponsor to sign for you let it not be that you are going up and down looking for your sponsor to sign documents for you because it can be really really stressful why the last one and the most important of them all is the wps in case you don't know what the wps is wps is wage protection system and all companies must stay compliant to this wage protection um, protection system this wage protection system Qatar brought it for transferring of salaries and this is to protect the employees okay any company you're about to transfer to this is a very important one ask them ask the sponsor is a sponsor up to date with their 
WPS payment? Are they up to date? Are they paying it? Are they paying salaries? But maybe, for example, a job is a company is hiring you directly to work under them. Definitely, they're going to be paying you your salary through your account. That is okay. But when you're under a freelance visa that you're planning to transfer your visa sponsorship to another company that you're not working for that company, that you just want to be collecting NOC for you to go and work for another company, this is really peculiar to you. Be very careful. Make sure your 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 sponsor is doing the um, WPS because there are some things that can really go wrong when you don't do it because Qatar government, they are really tracking the WPS system. They want to know the companies that are paying salaries and the companies that they are not paying you salary. So this is a way for them to like monitor these companies and for them to know if they are paid or not so some of the pen some of the things that can happen that can go wrong if the company is not paying the wps is legal penalties and fine on the company there will be there will be at first they'll first um give the company fine and is a huge amount of money if the company cannot pay the fine that is where the problem now after the fine the company cannot pay the fine then the next one will not be the ministry of labor will block the company activities like denial of work visas and there are some documents that you might, you might need to get from your sponsor that you might not be able to get it and this also can affect you as the employee so you have to be very careful while the next one is when the after because it's step by step after the fine Qatar government will also give you some time for you to pay the fine. When the company is unable to pay the fine, then the next thing is for them to um, stop some services, um, block the company's activities. There are some activities they are going to block. Why finally, they, they might block the company totally. And once they block the, to the company totally, your, your sponsor will not be able to renew QID. Just imagine you are walking around with an expired QID. That will be a problem on you. And the next one is your sponsor can face jail terms. Just imagine your sponsor is in the jail. Like, how will you get your document? How will you be able to do things that you are supposed to do? And just know that once police... Catch, catches you that your company is blocked is likely that you might face deportation so that's why automatically any company that we are we are like intertwined to that company okay if your sponsor is having issues if the company is having issues indirectly you are also having issues so that is why it is good for you to do your background search before you transfer to any company and this wps i know your sponsors do not tell you about this but this wps is very very important i've seen people that it has affected and i've seen people that is currently affecting so this is just me sharing what you should put into consideration this is a very short video for you all that i know that people can easily watch and take note okay please like this video and share with whoever cares to listen if there are more topics that you like me or there are questions or there's a particular video idea that you love me to do to work on for you or kindly let me know i'll be willing to do that but it might take a little bit of time but just bear with me okay everything is just it's just for a while okay it's just for a while i'll be back and better very very soon so like this video share to whoever cares to listen if you are new to this place please do not leave without subscribing hit that subscribe button to be part of this family you're going to learn so much on this space and to all my returning subscribers thank you all thank you all for the lovely messages thank you all for always coming back to support me i really do appreciate it see you all in the next one but always remember to love yourself bye